Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Shalene here at the Bertram Library for our story time. This week, another really fun story. This is called Ricky the Rock That Couldn't Roll by Jay Maletsky. Over the lake and out past the bay was a green grassy hill where the rocks came to play. They would race to the top to take in the view, then roll their way down the way rocks love to do. There were Kip, Pip, and Chester, and Marvin the Boulder. Ignatius played too, though he was much older. And a group called the Pebbles never ever sat still, zigzagging their way up and over the hill. Do you see them zigzagging? And the ladybug. Kai was a meteorite and not from this planet, and Maya was lava, but taken for granite. Stu was the smart one, Parker the clown, and grumpy old Elbert rolled round with a frown. Gabby was sassy, Lessie had flair, Emma was giggly, and Hud had black hair. Whoops. But the one trait that seemed to be shared by them all was that every rock there was shaped like a ball. And because they were round, they could easily roll through the grass, past the lake, up and over the knoll. There they go. Except for poor Ricky, who quietly sat. You see, Ricky couldn't roll because one side was flat. And there he is, there's the flat side. But look, his little friend, the ladybug. His friends didn't get it. Come roll, they would chant. So Ricky tried, but replied, I'm sorry, I can't. But the rocks were determined. They were sure they could solve Ricky's flat-sided problem and help him revolve. So Marvin the Boulder, with his impressive physique, carried Rick all the way to the hill's grassy peak. Then he pushed him downhill, yelling, keep rolling, kid! But Rick didn't roll, he just kind of slid. He's saying, this feels like a bad idea. Well, the rocks weren't done, not by a mile. Surely this next try would get Rick to smile. They stuck rubber balls all over Rick using big gobs of glue to get them to stick. They were proud of themselves. This will work, they announced. But Ricky still couldn't roll. Now he just sort of bounced. And he's saying, no good, no good, no good. Do you see his ladybug friend? She's still there. Well, they pushed and they pulled, trying every which way to get Rick to roll. But by the end of the day, nothing had worked, just like Rick expected. And he ended up feeling depressed and dejected. It's no use, Rick sighed. There just isn't a way, so I'll sit off to the side and watch you all play. Oh, but look, Ladybug, she's still there. What a good friend. But his friends wouldn't quit. We're here for you, brother, and we'll get you to roll one way or another. So they pondered and thought, each straining his brain, till they looked up and saw it was starting to rain. And that's when it hit, that smart stone named Stu. Eureka, he shouted, I know just what to do. He explained to them how they would get Rick to tumble. My plan is pure genius. Stu wasn't too humble. So they carried our hero down the road about a mile to the lake where they gathered up mud they could pile on the flat side of Rick, creating a mound that they shaped, smooth, and sculpted until it was round. Then after the rain with the sun in the sky, they left him to bake till the mud was all dry. They gathered up vines and one colorful feather that they wrapped all round Rick to keep it together.
When the last knot was tied and the work was all done, the only step left was for Rick to have fun. They stood back and watched, feeling nervous and tense, as Rick breathed in deep with increasing suspense. He moved slowly at first, testing out his new mold, and then, for the first time, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, Ricky the Rock rolled! Woo! And Ladybug is still there. So Bria, the ladybug, who ladybug, who'd been there from the start, felt a surge of pure joy swell up in her heart. She thought, as she watched her friends play on the hill, that there's always a way if there's also a will. And she said to herself, as Ricky rolled down the slope, when you're surrounded by love, you always have hope. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Don't forget to come by Curbside or Inside for your grab and go kit. This week, we have something special, a scavenger hunt inside. If you complete it, you can win a prize. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.